Hey, what is up, YouTube friends and subscribers? This is Ryan, back for another review. This time, a simple custom. This is Transformers Stanticon Decepticon Drag Strip. This came from the Transformers Special Edition box. The same mold, the same mold of Mirage, and made into a perfect homage. I mean, almost perfect homage to Generation 1 a drag strip. Now, let's do a very quick 360 of the figure. And as you have noticed, since if you have a Mirage or the Special Edition drag strip, it is pretty obvious that I added another wheel in front and this, uh, I don't know what you call that, but that's a. Uh, uh, another uh, garnishing or a spoiler here down near the, the wheel just to add more beef to this already cool mold of the universe drag strip or mirage now it rolls pretty well lining it was uh, rather a challenge but it rolls pretty well so um, how I did the figure, um, all you need to do is get another one, another special edition drag strip, uh, attached to the wheel, <clears throat> and if you can see, just cut away, dremel that away, and then get the spoiler, and then just, uh, cut that accordingly, and then just, uh, glue that, or, uh, screw that, however you may pass in that and you're good to go that's very easy now to compare him with the garage mold or the former drag strip mold there you go that is the first or the original mold you can see that the modified or the custom figure has more of a uh, more of a uh, homage really to drag strip compared with the original because of the uh, additional wheel in front and also with this uh, lower spoiler. Now let's uh, see the front profile. <clears throat> very nice. That's pretty good. There we go. And on the side. It's very good. So universe a drag strip. So I'm also making another gestalt or combiner, and that is pretty obviously Menasaur. I already have the uh, head sculpt, and that is this one already. So planning to do an IDW version of Menasaur. So I'm trying to do the parts by part, and this one probably will go to eBay when it's done. Now, let's transform the figure. And you all know the transformation already. So let's just uh, cut that one. And uh, uh, let's go ahead with the uh, robot figure, or robot mode. And here they are. Comparing him with Mirage, this one, the original mold. And again, uh, basing from the special edition drag strip, it was exactly the repaint of this mold, but with this custom, you've noticed that the transformation is just a bit different because, for one thing, Mirage's uh, bumper was his crossbow or weapon uh, on my drag strip. It's now part of his uh, lower body or the crotch area covering this skinny part. So that's, that adds a lot of beef. Also, with the, the foot part, the right or the left part, you also have additional muzzle on the sides of the legs here. Now with the homage of... My intention was just to try to do a homage of Generation 1 drag strip in his toy and uh, comparing him with uh, Transformers Wiki 
drag strip actually had uh, some wheels found on the upper parts of his shoulders and uh, that's that's about it um, so I try to do that here also on the, the figure so I think that worked out pretty well so that's uh, comparing him with the original mold of course when the original had just one wheel on top and this one has already two uh, all it's not part of the the shoulder but it's just it's just uh, part of the uh, the back where the wheels are aligned and I think that worked out pretty well possibility is the same just a bit hampered with this one but anyway that's that's uh, that's very minor and so a uh, quick 360 of uh, my custom <clears throat> drag strip there you go so I think that worked out pretty well again uh, this is gonna be one part of Transformers IDW version of Manosaur which is actually on the way so that's just a simple custom that's coming and this is drag strip custom made by Ryan of course and thank you all for watching I'll see you around for more uh, video reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around.